Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome to Anvil of Dawn. It's a new uh, game for the channel, and you know, I've been kind of in the mood to do some old school dungeon crawling, and that's exactly what this is. People who uh, enjoyed my Legend of Grimrock 2 series, uh, this is something that you will probably enjoy as well. Very similar style of gameplay, although this game was uh, developed way be developed and released uh, way back in 1995 uh, by Dreamforge Entertainment. And uh, yeah, so this game's like 20 years old, but I feel like it's aged fairly well, especially compared to some other old school dungeon crawlers. It's got uh, some important features. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing started. And uh, we're gonna choose a character and then we'll watch some intro stuff. This is going to be a little bit out of order, because uh, normally you would see the intro first, but I kind of want to just get back right into the character stuff, and then we'll do the intro stuff. So, uh, here we go. Alrighty, so we have uh, options of a few different characters that we can choose, and truth be told, it doesn't matter which one we choose all that much. I think there are some minor story differences, um, but nothing too crazy. I wouldn't even say story difference, just like certain little little events, I think, un unfold a little bit differently. Um, but nothing, yeah, like I said, nothing major. Uh, but I've been thinking about this, and a lot, there are a few other LPs of this game out on the, uh, the internet, and they all seem to do the uh, guys here. In fact, this, this big guy here, um, Bryce, I believe his name is, is by far the most popular, but we can click on these guys and get a little bit of info about each of them, so. A dark spell binds and shackles our once free land. If chosen, your ability and magic must undo these evil bonds. So everybody's gonna have like a little different blurb here. I don't think this has any relevance other than just tell you a little bit about who, who the character is by default. Um, as you can see, we have some different stats here that we can choose from. I'm not gonna go into detail about these right this second, but um, essentially uh, we can actually re reject these stats and uh, edit them ourselves and, and uh, sort of make our character kind of however we want. So we could take this guy and actually turn him into a, a straight up fighter if we really wanted to. But uh, let's go through and we'll look at the other, uh, uh, the other fellows here. So we'll reject. Your strength would be a storm upon the land if chosen. Let nothing slow you on your quest. As you can see, this guy is by far the strongest. Uh, well, by by far stronger than this guy. Anyway, he is the strongest, I believe. Um, and he's, yeah, like I said, he's he's the most popular. I can see why he's got that righteous beard and everything. He looks pretty mean. But uh, we're not going to be taking him either. And then we got this fellow here. Yours is the face of our enemy. If chosen, you must prove loyal to us, and more than the evil of your people. So Dagonoth here is actually the jack of all trades. He can pretty much do whatever, um, but really so can any other character, but his stats are just naturally balanced out uh, really nicely. And uh, he's got a little bit of eff effects on his voice, so he sounds a little bit different. The voice acting is the same regardless of which character you choose. I, I believe the lines are basically the same and all the men have the same voice and all the women have the same voice with the exception of him who has the same voice but like I said with a little bit of effects on it. But we're not going to be taking him either. I decided that uh, I don't think there's an LP of either of the ladies here. Um, so we could take... You are quick and agile. If chosen, you must find the secret of the warlord's power. So we could take Foxwind here. And I, I like the the idea of Foxwind, but I kind of hate her stupid face. <laughs> like this little portrait up here, and it just I don't know, it doesn't look that cool. Um, so I think what we're actually gonna do, and by the way, she's uh, extremely agile, extremely agile, crazy agile. I think we're gonna be taking this lady here. I've heard tales of your speed and daring. If chosen, may the enemy learn how true these stories are. More details. So she's actually, actually, I think she may be as strong as Bryce's, or maybe just barely less strong, but pretty damn strong either way. And super fast, but like no magic whatsoever. We're gonna edit these stats, and uh, now I'll explain a little bit more about sort of what they do. Now, strength is. 
probably what you would imagine. It increases our carrying capacity and also increases our damage uh, with melee attacks, I believe, basically. So every two points of these uh, will give us an extra plus one damage. Every two points of strength. Stamina is going to increase... Um, basically our ability to continue attacking, so as we attack we'll lose, um, we'll, we'll get fatigued, and stamina gives us more, uh, fatigue essentially. Uh, if we start getting, <clears throat> excuse me, if we start getting tired, we're gonna lose points of strength and agility temporarily until we can, uh, recover. So, stamina could be very important in, in longer fights. Agility, uh, gives us the ability to, well, it, it's actually, uh, according to the manual, it's a little bit of an opposed um, check, I guess, in a sense. So you you and your opponent will have um, certain ability scores, and whoever has the higher agility will get a bonus to their hit rolls, I believe, is how this works. And uh, I can't recall if the other guy gets a, a little bit of a penalty um, or not, but uh, agility is pretty... Um, Pretty important for actually being able, to, being, being able to hit people. And then power is our ability to cast spells. Um, everybody can cast spells, but um, every two points of power gives us an extra 20% damage on our spells. And it also uh, influences the amount of magic points we have, basically. And actually, that, that reminds me, I believe... I think it's strength and stamina actually both influence your starting hit points. But let's, uh, let's distribute our stats here. I think what I want, I want to be able to do a little bit of everything. Um, kind of like this guy, you know, I like the idea of being a little bit of a jack of all trades, just so we can experience a lot of different things as we play through the game. And I guess I should mention um, that this is going to be sort of a blind playthrough. I'm familiar with the story, I've watched uh, some other uh, videos of the game and everything, so I've, I kind of know how it goes a little bit, but I definitely don't remember the details. So it's going to be blind, Fairly blind, but uh, you know, I have an idea of how, like I said, how some things go. I'll be using a guide only if I get stuck, and also just to make sure that I go to the areas in the right order, uh, just to make sure that we don't do too much backtracking because we don't want this to last forever. I, I don't think. Um, but uh, yeah, so strength. We've got pretty good strength. I'm actually gonna put one more point here, and uh, power. I want four points of power because that'll give us. An extra 40% spell um, spell effectiveness, and it will also give us some you know some decent magic points to start with. Obviously, we can't leave our stamina uh, down like that. I like to have pretty good agility as well. Um, we will get the opportunity, I believe, according to the manual anyway, to increase our strength and stamina permanently, uh, and we'll also get the chance to get more spell points permanently. But I don't know if we actually get agility and power. I don't know if we get, ever get anything to increase these these two. So I feel like kind of biasing toward these might be in my best interest. So I'm thinking maybe we go something like this. And, uh, you know, again, then we're a little bit of a jack of all trades. And, uh, you know, I probably will mostly be doing melee combat just because the spells take a long time to cast. Um, but there will be times when I think they'll be useful. So... And I do want those extra spell points as well, but uh, yeah. So I think we're gonna we're gonna go with these, and then um, I think I'll call this a video here because we're just gonna be doing uh, the character creation for this one. But in the next one, we're gonna be doing a little bit more story as we sort of get started in the game uh, proper. And uh, then after that, most likely the in the third video, we will get to like some real like combat and stuff, and that's how the rest of the game is gonna be. Is you know lots of puzzles and killing enemies and all that kind of stuff, which uh, I'm pretty excited about. At any rate, that's going to be it for me, so I'm going to let these intros uh, play so you can get the story, and then I'll see you in the next video.
Let your voices be assigned as this gathering is assigned. You shall conquer. Those who revile you, those who condemned you, cannot stand before you now. Soon we storm out of desolation across the star. Gorge Keep shall fall. Then Tempest is yours. The green valleys, the rich lands, yours! Know the truth of it. The Dark Gods favor you, and they have promised a gift. By this gift, we shall control the elements, crush our homes, and destroy their land. Now, behold! Beloved Tempest lies red under the blood of her own people. Azariah, show them. Watch now! The last few months unfold. They came across the scar. Gorge Keep slowed them for a time. Long enough for the armies of Tempest to assemble. Still, we could not hold. The worst of the evil from desolation is upon us. Where these dark armies pass, rivers turn to mud, grass withers, trees bend, and the dead rise to fight against us. There is one who leads them, a figure in dark armor, a warlord. We believe he possesses a terrible magic. Its evil aids his forces to victory. No army can stand against them. No nation can withstand them. The Horde marches on, and soon their boots will echo in these very halls. We must find another way. Whatever dark magic the Warlord commands, it must be destroyed. The fate of Tempest now lies in the hands of those volunteers here, assembled. Only you, my few, my fearless ones, only you might wrest from the Warlord the secret to his unearthly power. Steal it away, so that our armies can fight on even ground. Without you, there is no hope. My lady, do not despair. Hope is sometimes found in the most unexpected places. Yet great evil, such as we now face, can only be met and overcome with equally great sacrifice. 